kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. BP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st at 10. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his, his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy, okay. like not as handsome. I keep getting like a, like a security guard or a, a badge, getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are going to catch him because I keep, I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. He wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, but he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. The name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. Damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th. 2019 at 7:14 p.m. Quentin or Quentin, but I'm seeing trash and I don't. 42 Wednesday morning. Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost that's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag, and um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill could be the only tonight. A heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20 month old Quentin Simon. And I felt like he was going to be found that was earlier in the day. Three year old boy found alive and in good health. And I said, like, with three within three miles, but I'm not seeing him being hurt and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, Were you alone? Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed. Late into the night to find. I see him running to the woods. Oh, I keep getting a repeated image of him running to the woods. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Be within two miles. I keep getting that. Getting a reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like I can't, I can't find my way out. I like I'm stuck. Like, in a, and I said he's in a bush. Okay. Uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods. Sure enough, I went in the woods and about a hundred feet from where I was at, he was. I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. She wants, he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something, like another farm. I also hear neighbor. He said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen. Hi guys and welcome back and happy Halloween although it's now November 1st it wasn't supposed to be like that we were actually supposed to do this on Halloween but you know all of this took time <laughs> I look the same I look the same look thinking about doing this blind because my makeup looks cool but that's about it I was trying to look neat wait till you see Lizzie um last minute we were like oh let's dress up and do this Oh, I wanted to do something, you know, fun for Halloween. Um, and unfortunately, Tammy's sick tonight. So hopefully she feels better soon. But um, <laughs> what's up, Ezekiel? <laughs> so we wanted to um, work on something a little different. 
And so I just we decided we're going to do Jack the Ripper. But then before we were going to do it, I didn't realize how old that case is. So I'm not really sure if some of the victims have already reincarnated exactly how strong the energy is around it. But every time I tap in, I do get some stuff on it. So I decided I'd try to ask Ted and see see how it goes. Um, so that's what we're going to, I guess, try to do. Because I like to talk to him when I do serial killer cases because it's easier to focus on one energy instead of a bunch of different energies. Um, so, anyway, so this is kind of a, a different night. Wanted to make it a little lighthearted because of what we're going to be talking about. And spooky at the same time because this is Halloween. Well, was Halloween about 17 minutes ago. So... Um, anyways, all the ways to support me are down below. So the ways to book, I am booked out till February, but we are in November now. Um, so if you still want in on the spirit led private group, that is the ninth. Um, I still have some space, I believe I've kind of lost count, but it's not as busy as it was last time. So I do have some space for that. Um, so you just email the psychic sleuth at gmail.com if you want in on that. Um, and again, all the ways to support me are down below. So for those of you that are new here and those of you that aren't, as you know, I always explain how I work because everybody works differently. So information that comes in can be past, present, future. It can be symbolic, not always literal the way that I see it or have multiple meanings. This is especially true when it comes to numbers and months. Um, Spirit will often use my references, my experiences, things that I've seen and, and the way that I relate to them to try to explain what they are wanting to say. So sometimes they'll even bring in shows that I've seen or whatnot to say, Hey, it's like this. Um, so as I get information, uh, Lizzie will validate what she knows and just kind of keep the energy flowing. Even if she doesn't know anything, not every piece of information needs to be validated. Obviously, uh, we don't spend hours memorizing stuff. So <laughs> we just validate what we know and, and just leave the rest. Um, you can research on your own time, but this is more of a bouncing of back and forth. since It's almost like I'm giving someone a reading. So it just makes the energy flow a lot easier. It's like, creates energy for me to her and then to the person and spirit that I'm connecting to. Um, so please be kind in the comments. Please be kind in everyday life. Um, we are here to give the victims a voice and here to, um, I don't know, do the best that we can. All right. Um, keep in mind that I can't pick up things around the case. Um, so around the perp, around the victims, it's not always having to do strictly with just the perp. And, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't go good, you guys will never see this. So, <laughs> But I hope everybody had a happy Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed your time out with your kids, um, or had parties and that you guys are, you know, went out, had fun, you're home safe. And, um, this is what I've done the last few Halloweens is either stay at home, or do something for work. So, all right, I'm going to, I guess, bring on Lizzie now. And if you stay tuned until the end, she has a surprise to show us. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Well, She's belated Halloween. She's a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm a pumpkin. I know, I was just getting ready to laugh at the way your eyelashes were on that pumpkin. <laughs> Let's get it out now. <laughs> Look who the placements are of your eyes. <laughs> it was last minute. I used uh, I used it's little so man. It's so cute. It's so cute. I just didn't realize that before we came on. I used his <laughs> his hair paint. <laughs> and his little makeup he had like, left over. And this I had like, in the closet from like two years ago. So, which I thought I threw it out, but. And it's Good like three o'clock in the morning where she is, and I am I took too long getting ready, man. <laughs> three a.m. with a full face of makeup and like I'm ready to go out. I don't know whose idea it was for me to dye my hair tonight, but that's what took so long. Um I wanted this before Halloween was over. Out. It came out October. Beautiful, though. 
but it is what it is. And your makeup's on point too. I, I like the way. Yeah, you too bad I that. can't do a blind reading. Yeah, literally, <laughs> it it would literally be a blind reading. It would because I can't see shiznick without them. All right. Okay. And I hope Tammy feels better. Hopefully, she's feeling better soon. Yep, she's a busy woman, that one. All right. So I'm just scribbling to try to bring in information. Like, I, the way that I'm doing this is because, like I was saying, the energy isn't very, doesn't seem to be. Well, I've never worked on a case that old. So I don't think the energy would be very strong with it. Because even like, newer older cases like cold cases i have a hard time with okay. um so i don't i don't know i just i think it'd be hard to connect to the victims if it doesn't work with ted we can always try to that route but okay just have to see That's creepy. Um, hmm. So I'll just kind of describe what they... I forgot to mention this. I'll just describe what they show me. And um, like sometimes I perceive things correctly and sometimes I don't. But um, I'll just describe it. And sometimes I'll give you ideas of how it could make sense. But... Um, and I mean, I really don't need to say like entertainment purposes only. Everyone is in a sense of proven guilty. Obviously, he's not alive anymore, but you know, <laughs> put it out there anyways. Um, okay. Everybody's acting a muck all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing because it's really kind of creepy. Um, I see like a dark shadowy figure walking down um, an alley or a side of a street. Looks like a side of a street, but it's places where like there's alleys and stuff. It's really, it's really dark. And I see him dressed in like a top hat. Uh, like a trench coat looking thing like the ones with the tails at the end I don't know what they're like the split tail jackets like they used to have way way back in the day I can hear okay. like he's got like these loafer type shoes like I can hear them on the like sidewalk for some reason Um, and he's literally whistling which is, is creepy Um, it kind of feels almost like if you're in a horror show, like a horror movie, um, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But, and there's a reference to, uh, I don't know if he's like chewing a toothpick or something like that. There's something in his, his mouth that looks like that he's chewing on. Um, but he's very sort of, uh, creepy. <laughs> I just keep seeing him yeah. walking down the sidewalk and the whistling is is kind of creepy. Uh. But I can smell like cigar and cigarette smoke. So I don't know if that's him smoking or if it's like he's in an area where there is smoking like that. Oh, wow. That's something that you say that. Because, um, well, first of all, uh, there is something with the alley, but I'll let you keep going. And um, the cigar cigarette smoke you might be getting, there was a gentleman who was a cigar salesman, and he actually gave a description, and this was in a, um, he spotted him in a narrow walkway slash alley. So 
So I don't know if that's why um, you're getting the smell of uh, it could cigarettes. be. It could be. Um, but it's it's just very dark. But I I feel like there's a city around me, you know. Um, but there's reference to a sidewalk and then alleyways, like you know the alleys that go like between the tall buildings. Like I keep seeing it yep. like that. And okay. um, but his nose is like really pointy for some reason, like. You know when someone like is walking, and I feel like he's got his, and I don't know why I'm seeing him like this. I don't know if this is like how he dressed in everyday life. If this is how he dressed when he went out. It seems to be all dark clothes, um, and he's got like the collar of that jacket up, and um, okay, like it's weird. I could see his breath, so I don't know if any of this happened when it was cold. But or chilly outside where you would see someone's breath, but I could see it as he's walking. But I'm seeing like the profile side of him. Like if you look at someone and you see their profile, you yep. know, his nose is pretty pointy. He's actually he's not like bad looking from what I can tell. Um But like I said, it's all dark. And I just keep seeing that same thing over and over of just him walking. Um, But he's freaking whistling. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, now what I keep seeing is, like, the, like, uh, party scene that they had back in those days. Um, and, like, I see ladies sitting on gentlemen's laps. And so, you know, like, back in the days, they had, like, those little kind of, like, clubs, but maybe they were, like, kind of, like, under, I don't know if they were underground clubs, but. um, Like a speakeasy? Yeah. I guess that's what it's called. Because I keep seeing, like, women that are dressed uh, really nice. There's a reference to a garter, like, where they wear garters, because um, I keep seeing, like, a garter pulled up. Um, and they're sitting on men's lap. So I can only take this as. <laughs> I don't want to say what Ted's saying. It's called. <laughs> say it. W-H-O-R-E <laughs> house. Okay. I don't want to continue on YouTube. Um, it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm hearing like piano music. So it's not. It's not like the music we would hear today. It's like I keep hearing piano music. And I, there's a reference to like a piano in the corner. Um, that place is kind of filled up with cigar smoke. There's reference to like a bar. Um, so it's almost like I kind of get reminded of back in the day like saloons. It's almost like that but not in the West. I don't know how to explain okay. it. Like, you know how in, like, the old country movies where they have the bar downstairs and they have the other stuff upstairs? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm reminded yep. of that, but obviously I'm not in the West. That's the best way okay. I can describe it because that's how it's getting referenced to me. Does that make sense? Yep. And I even feel like the women are even dressed similar to that style. Maybe not okay. exact because I'm not in the West, but, like, you know, the similar old old dressy style okay i don't know how that makes sense <laughs> i don't um, know how they dressed dressed back then but it makes sense okay i also like hear the words a uh, seventh street i don't know if that's the street around there or not. Um, Um, 
Um, you, so... you were getting a street, not the number seven, right? I wanted to put it with street, unless seven okay. makes sense. Yeah, because there were there was like a first area of um, murders that took place, and they called them um, like seven and uh, seven uh, Whitechapel murders. So I didn't know maybe if that's why you were getting the number seven. It could be. It could be a multiple meaning thing. Um, there's a reference to 14. Um, he also shows me a reference to a guy, the same guy, but it's almost like he's in like a, I don't know how to explain this. It's a dark room, but he's laying out scalpels. Okay. It's, what's interesting about the feel of him and what I was getting even earlier today is like every time I like try to think about this, I keep getting a reference to like a doctor or a doctor interview. Maybe someone that either was a doctor, wanted to be a doctor or had started to be a doctor, didn't finish. Um, that kind of comes in. Okay. And I do get like darker features with him or at least dark hair, but he's wearing this hat all the freaking time that I see him. He's okay. like just a hat, and then he's got that jacket with like the collar pulled up, so you can't see a full lot, of, a whole lot of his face. But his jawline seems to come down like this. It, can, it seems to be, um, like a stronger jawline, and like I said, he has like a kind of a pointier nose. Like it would, obviously from a profile, you would recognize those two things. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's it's interesting you get um, a doctor with scalpels because with way, the way some of these unalivings, um, they did think um, possible uh, surgeon. And uh, the gentleman who did get a glimpse of this guy did see him in a hat, but it was like the, the duck hat. Do you know what like the duck hats are? Yeah. I so, can see him uh, like a... I mean, he might have different hats, but... That I might be the hat you're getting. Yeah. I, I see him in more like a top hat type thing. But, um, like, he might wear different hats. I don't, I don't know. That's just how I keep seeing it. I keep seeing him. And he might not wear the same thing all the time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. he, you're talking about... I know what... I think I know what hat you're talking about. But I don't know why I keep seeing him in the other one. Um, because... I hear the word precision, so that makes me think, like, precision cuts. I also feel like he was handsome enough. Um, I feel like he lured women. It wasn't necessarily, like, an abduction. It was, like, lured them, and they were easy targets because of their, uh, what they did for a living. Correct. Women of the night is the way that Ted wants to say it. Um, so it's not like I don't feel like he really so much as abducted them. It's more like I'm um, charming and can lure them away from wherever or um, like he didn't come off as I guess he came off like as a normal guy or something. Like, they didn't, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't seem like, I don't see him, it doesn't come across as I'm abducting them, it comes across as I'm luring them. You're, you're correct, they are women of the night. Um, when the time that this had occurred, 
there was a lot of um, immigration into this area and it became so overtly populated that that's what women did to survive. So you are right with that they are women of the night. But I, again, I feel like they were lured. It's not like he went and like abducted them from anywhere. It's like they went willingly with him. Correct. Yep. Okay. Where does the letters come in at? Shut the front door. <laughs> I can't with you. Ew, I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna get anything. Okay, so um, let me get to my notes here. Did he okay, leave so, letters like yeah. inside, or or did he? There were uh, questionable hoax letters that were written believed to be started by the press to gain interest in this story and also to get the newspaper um circulation increased so um the there was one letter received uh with a body part in it believed to be from the victim but okay that um, makes sense because i kept seeing like bef that's what i was saying like inside of them because i was taking it as he kept, I kept seeing the reference to something from the stomach and yes. then the letter. But they don't know if like some of the letters were were hoaxed like uh, to get the yeah. circulation of the newspaper up and to get attention to this case. Um, if maybe one of the letters was from the person that was doing this and then the rest were from uh, the news. Well, I feel like the one with the body part was. Just because what they showed me, they were showing me like the mm -hmm. stomach. And then... it, I thought that also. I When I was reading about it, I'm like, well, I don't see somebody from the newspaper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like doing so. I could see them, you know, maybe elaborating other letters from that being received. Like maybe some they did, but not that one. Yeah. Um. Because it's almost like the way that he. Did what he did. Um, was like I said. It seems like there's precision. Um, he, they show me. He shows me behind one. And then my throat is. And then, um, but I also get a reference, <coughs> I get a cough with that. <laughs> um, and then there's also a reference to, um, like the stomach area. I get the stomach area and then I get the heart. So I don't know if things were cut out and missing or. Why are you can't shaking your you. head? I can't. Um, <laughs> As if you think I'm more, wrong, <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, as the um, as more um, unalivings had occurred, um, the cuts uh, have like were more more detailed stuff like that. Out of all of them, there was one missing, and the organ that was missing was the heart. Okay. Ted say this had something to do with um, a woman that had wronged him, wronged Jack the Ripper. Um, and so it was like he was unaliving these the same woman over and over, if that makes okay. sense. Like, yeah. Um, so I get like it's almost like the first one. It's 
Ted talks about the first one, like there being hesitation marks or jagged or something, or it seemed to be different than the other ones. Um, and I don't know if that's anything you could even validate, but. Okay. So the, there, there were two cases before a group. Okay. They don't believe that those two cases are, were related, but one of them were used with, um, uh, like a serrated knife, like a pen knife. So that would be jagged. Um, that might be where you're getting your, um, I your jacket it. cuts in mm -hmm. but um part of the group that is definitely included in this um it, they also had some jagged wounds as well which kind of takes me away from the doctor and that unless would be he, unless he didn't finish school or something or his you know resident whatever he the training or whatever um i'm having a hard time getting an age on this guy i want to go 20 to 30s but i keep getting like 24 for some reason um But it's hard to tell because he kind of—I'm kind of getting the reference to like how Ted was younger, but he looked older. Like maybe the the guy didn't look like maybe he looked older than what he was. Okay. Um, I don't know. I keep getting twenty four for some reason. I don't know what that fits in at. Um, I I want to take it as an age, but I don't know. <sighs> um. Ted says the word souvenirs. So do we know if he took anything? Like trophies, um, souvenirs. He says the souvenirs, but trophies. It, out of the only thing that I do know of is out of the one victim, the heart was missing. Okay. I don't know. It seems to. It seems to. And maybe they didn't release it, but I keep getting a reference to like trophies that were taken. Um, uh, I also feel. Would did this area have like taller buildings in it, or? I don't know how it was back then because I feel like I'm in a city and it's almost like I, I keep getting reference to like um, he didn't live. It's almost like they all kind of happened in a not far from each other. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's like they want to take me to one area, but then they put dots around like they were all like kind of in the same area. Like he lived in that area is what they want to what they're talking about like there's a reference to like an upstairs like i don't know if they had apartments then um when i <clears throat> had looked up um one of the victims that had showed uh the area where they were found and it, it well where this happened it is a city um and the buildings are like tall, you know. There's like alleyways. Yeah, like the that's why it's like a, it, it's kind of like an old, old, old New York. Not that it is New York, but yes. I don't know. Like that's kind of what it reminds you. Of. That's what it reminded me of too when I looked at it. Like the way the buildings are, yeah. you know, like you're. So typical. it's almost like you know how um in those, you know how sometimes the stairs are outside on the yes. like where they have um like fire escapes and stuff or they have stairs that go outside mm -hmm. um to like i keep wanting to go up to like a, up an apartment like in a floor okay. like he lived on the ground floor it's like he lived high like maybe like the second floor or something but it's i keep seeing him go up the stairs outside okay but it's almost like his apartment was centered right there and all this was around and um 
Ted he keeps talking about there being a woman that wronged this guy. And that's it, that's why he took it out on these types of women. Like they all reminded him of the woman that wronged him. Okay. And um I wonder who that last victim was. Because for him to take the heart for that one, it must have been something different. Like, maybe that was it originally, maybe that's who he ended up getting was the person he was trying to get all along. There's some, you know what I mean? There's something with that last victim and what he did to that one. Okay. Um, As it may be being, like, the object of his affection or finally getting to the one he really wanted okay that makes sense like the rest seems like they, they all seem like surrogates kind of is the word i want to okay because why take the heart of that one not the other ones yeah and what does the heart relate to love yeah so. um now i don't know wait yeah that was his supposed last victim, and that they were the most um, mutilated. So that one's more personal. So it makes you wonder if all the rest were surrogates, and that's who he really wanted for whatever reason. So there must okay. be a connection to that last victim and him for some reason. Okay. That's the only way that, that I can take, take, take it. Okay. So it's got to be that he, that must be the one that he connects to or the one that he wanted. Okay. Like it was so different than the other ones. Like, that's just what I kind of keep getting. Um, was, was one of them found in an alley? I feel like they were all found like outside. Like the the last one, see, being that it was so populated, a lot of them like had shared rooms and stuff. Um the the last victim was actually found in I guess like the room she had rented. But let me see which one it was. Yeah, for him to come in the room the, was very different than the other ones, I think. Yes, because the other That's the ones... That's one he really wanted. The other ones were outside. Um, that could be also the, what I'm getting about him. What what floor was that on? Um, or maybe it doesn't say. But it's either his apartment or the, her apartment. Well, I saw him going upstairs. Outside stairs. But for him yeah. to go into a house is very different than what than the he other ones they did. So it's almost like that's the other ones he led. It's almost like the other ones uh, he led, but he actually went after her. Yes. So the the second victim was uh, found near steps, like in a doorway, in the back of the housing or apartment complex. And then there was another one uh, that was found in like um, like a corner, like where like buildings, like art, like a bunch of buildings. Yeah, like it's almost like, like dark areas, dark areas where he could kill him and leave him. But it, yes. like I said, it feels like alleyways outside, round city, yes. like that kind of stuff. There's also a reference to. I keep getting a reference to like a bridge. I don't know why I'm getting a reference to a bridge. Um, I don't know if there's one that like is prevalent in that city or something. Um, well, I mean, it was London, so. Well, he and he's talking about. Uh, well, was it? Is there? 
I don't know if there was a bridge at that time. I don't I don't know why. That I'm not there. sure because it was like Whitechapel, uh, Spitalfields, and London. Was there a bridge that went from one place to the other? Back then, I'm not. I yeah, don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if it was there or not. I'd have to. Because I keep seeing a bridge, like a bridge, a bridge. Okay. Um, it's almost like he was also getting up like like perfecting things and getting up the courage to get to his last victim so that's where they should have focused their attention on was the women that she knew okay I keep getting the name Roger too I don't know why and Let's it's something on. you say like perfect it because it seems like the um, incisions like we're better yeah um i mean it's so it's really so brutal i don't even want to go into this is like i feel like it, some of them are just split open um, you're right i don't even want to go into like all that but it's 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 I think he did have a, this coat on because it's almost like I have the tools with me in my coat. Um, okay. But I wonder if he was like a, I hear student. So I wonder if he was like a medical student or something of that sort. Um oh. Ted says, true psychopath, and that's saying something. He says the words enraged, and I feel I see the guy kind of throwing a fit. So it it really he they he, he keeps taking me back to that last victim. Like that's where the connection is. Whoever the man is that she knew. Either okay. she hurt, broke up with, ignored. It connects to her. It's like okay. all these were practices and surrogates until he got to her. That's why he stopped after her. Which is, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe he, it's very possible, like, he also, maybe he jumped off a bridge. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, because I'm not really seeing what happened to him. Um, uh, I get the word foresight. And I don't know if that's like, or a fourth sight. Um, I don't know if that's like a last name or that's. Okay. Is, I don't know what that's supposed to I, Foresight is usually premonition, right? But there's also like, there could be a last name that's like fourth like foresight or something similar sounding. Okay. I'm just not getting. Um, I also get the name Burke. Ted said it was easy for him because back then there was, you know, no cameras, no nothing. It's like you take the girls into the dark alley and then, or a dark area, corner somewhere, somewhere where they're, they become vulnerable, you know. Okay. And he says they've never seen it coming. Okay. Um... Do you know if they were all like a similar type? Like they all looked similar? 
you know, I, like the pictures I found were like back then they would, you know, and they didn't, yeah. they, they would sketch the, the scenes and stuff. Um, the only thing that I know that they were, you know, pretty much women of the night and um, that type of worker. I Other just than wonder that, if they all had like similar looks, like they all looked like kind of like the last victim. I keep getting like Ted showing me like darker color, like darker hair for the most part. Um, but it just makes me wonder if like they didn't all have similarities to that last victim. Like there's a reason that he chose the ones that he chose. Yeah. Again, it's a surrogate thing. Yeah. But do you know if, like, like after a group of after a group of unalivings, like, it shifted to another group of unalivings, like, it changed areas? Do you, do you know if that was because, like, maybe the police presence got it got a little too hot and heavy in that one area? Or maybe they were patrolling and stuff, and then so he kind of moved it because I feel like he's kind of in between two areas. Like, hit where he lived was in between the two areas. Yeah, there's like the areas are the hot spots, and he's like in the middle. I don't know if that even makes sense. It's probably hard for us to validate, but yeah, well, it was actually would it be three areas, three areas? the White Chapel, Spitalfields, and London. But, um, I, I think the like after this group there's alleged victims like they don't know if it's linked to him or not but they were in other areas well it's almost oh. like when he would he would move after so many and also i don't know if like the police presence seemed to ramp up in that area and he'd move but um And I see him like it's so weird. Like he has like a handkerchief that he just wipes off his tools and puts them back. It's almost like he carries something, you know, it reminds me of those like. Like the old school doctor bags. Mm -hmm. Makes me wonder if you yep. didn't carry one of those around because that's kind of what I get. Let's... And he could have just been like, I don't know. He could have been, I feel like he was like a student or something. Like, I don't feel like he was a practicing one. But there's some kind of um, like past he has and or wanted to be. There's just this medical thing around him. Okay. And I also see him studying like books, like anatomy books. Okay. Um He's like sitting like by by a light at night and he's studying anatomy books. It's really weird. Um well, that makes sense because they thought whoever did this either like had like anatomical knowledge or surgical knowledge experience. Yeah. It's like he did study it in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if he was really a practicing doctor per se, but okay. I get like the studying of it. So I don't know if that's what Ted meant. Ted meant like a Ted. Ted meant like a student. Okay. Or want like he wanted to be or something. I don't know. Like he had this all stems from like being heartbroken. Or, you know, a woman wronging him. It, it, I just can't let go of that part of it. Um also get the word Stedman. I don't know what that is. Um
Was there ever um, anyone found on like a patch of grass? Mm. Or near one? I keep getting a patch of grass and I have no idea what it means. I mean, this is there, mostly... Let me just make sure I get it. Um... I had I said the hat wrong. Uh, it was a brown deer stalker hat. I don't know what that is. It's got like the little top. Up. I'll show it. To you. But there was um, somebody found in like the backyard um, area. Wait, deer stalker. Hat. Let me show you this before I get. I called it a duck hat, but it's not. It's one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, a, uh, what do you call it? Um, Sherlock Holmes there, hat. Yes. There you go. I couldn't think of it. But for some reason, I don't know why I keep seeing him, like, in more of a top hat. So, it, maybe he switched hats. So, people didn't recognize him. I don't know. He may have. Um, yeah, there was somebody uh, found in uh, Dutfield's uh, yard off of a Burner Street. It's now called <clears throat> Henrique Street in Whitechapel. And they were <clears throat> questioning whether that one was related or not. And there was... Uh, let's see. Another one. It's I just keep seeing him like in the shadows, like working with the night and using it as the way to get away with things. Um no. The second, the second um, victim uh, was found uh, in a doorway, like near steps to a doorway of a backyard. I don't know. I just kept getting like a patch of grass. I mean, that would make sense because if those. <clears throat> I mean, some of the. Some of them he may have blitz attacked, but they're, um, which is, you know, they come out of nowhere and, and do it. But I also keep getting, like, like I said, like he was charming and would lead them away from wherever they were. So it's almost like, but I feel like he's watching them too. Like he picks who he wants and he kind of watches them for a minute. Okay. Um, Because they keep getting, like, like as far as those ones that, like, are found, like, a patch of grass or whatever, that's more, like, or outside the steps, it's almost, like, that's more of a blitz attack kind of feeling. But, okay. um, I don't know, he had different ways of doing it. I do feel like he did lead some of them out, or, you know, um, which wasn't hard to do because of what they did for work. I hear the word Georgia, but I don't know how that fits either. I don't know if it's a word or a name. Um,
do you know if any of the women had any children? That I do not know. Okay. I keep seeing like kids around one of them or something. Oh, I'm kind of struggling to get any more here. Uh, the one victim did have five children. Okay. That I'm seeing right now. I don't know about the... Oh, because Ted was showing me kids, like kids around one of them, so... A couple of like them have was, children. Like it was a... Mo like they, there was mothers, too. Um... Which like the guy didn't care, obviously. But um, that was just coming in as having kids around a couple of them. Three out of them. Three out of the five had kids. Out of the definite five. Oh, there's more than that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, like, the 14 number sticks out to me. Okay. As, like, all victims. Okay. Well, I don't know. They give me 10, too, so I don't know how that mix either. I don't know. 14 seems important, but then he gives me 10. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, he shows me him leaning up against a wall, like with one leg up. Okay. And I feel like I'm either outside of like the air, the one of those places like we talked about, or um, I'm I'm feel like I'm in an alleyway leaning up against like the wall. And okay, no, no, he's always he's got something in his mouth again. <laughs> but he's I don't know if it's like a a toothpick or a cigarette or what it is. Um, or cigar, but it feels like it's more like a toothpick or something like that. But, um, I just see him like kind of leaned up with his one, one foot up, you know, okay. one foot up bent like against the, um, against the wall, like outside, like it feels like cement. And I feel like he may have you know, when he walked around would kind of try to hide his face a lot, like okay. pull down his hats or whatever. I feel he always had a hat on. Okay. I also feel like things had to be like just so. I don't know why that's coming in. Like almost almost an OCD feeling, but not quite. Like things had to be a certain way. And I okay. don't know if that's just with the bodies or in general, but were any of them posed? Do you know? Mm. It did not say posed. Uh, 
Because I feel like they were all left in a similar way or the same way, and that to me is like pose. Correct. Okay. The way that I reference it. They were. I mean, a, a, a lot of the ways that it happened, they were all pretty much very similar, except for that last one. And when you said last one, Ted said object of his affection. So I think that might be really where he wanted to go with it. Like she was really the, supposed to be the victim all along. Okay. He was leading up to her. Um, I don't know why he's showing me headstones. I don't know if that's symbolic or literal. Okay. Like a graveyard or cemetery or something. Reference. I also keep getting Anne. It's like repeating and I can't let it go. Um, You're getting Anne, you said? Yeah. Um, there was a Mary Ann. Mary Ann. And there was an Annie. Actually, Two Annies. So there's a couple Anns. Yeah, Ted had an Ann victim too. Um, but it's interesting that they would mention that. And then those three of them. <sighs> well, there was um, a, a lady named Annie. And uh, she had survived. They believe that this was uh, the Ripper's first victim. Um, she just had a bunch of stab wounds. She survived it, later died in North Carolina, um, not related to this. But it it's not definitely linked, but they believe that she could have potentially have been, you know, yeah, there's has there was hesitation and stuff there, and he didn't really know what he was doing at that time. That's why that came in in the beginning. I just see him walking everywhere, so you know he had to have lived close. But there's also a reference to like, did they have cars back then? That I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. That would make sense what I'm seeing. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Not um, like the cars we have now, but they were no. like, they were like a motor car. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I'm seeing, I guess. A very old style car with the weird horns. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, because the the were like experimental cars they ran on steam gasoline or electricity i wonder if they had the weird horns i don't know why i keep getting that but i just see him kind of walking a lot of different places though it's the the way that i keep seeing him is he's just he's like this figure that just walks down with his head down all the time and down the sidewalk because he doesn't want people to notice who he is okay um and like I keep seeing him like that I mean in my vision he doesn't he's kind of like from the side like he's not a bad looking guy okay and I don't uh... hold on I think Ted just re I need to look at something I need to look at who I'm getting a reference to 
and see if that's who I'm seeing. Uh, uh, no, not really. Uh, if you give me that reference. Huh. Um, maybe like so there was a reference to like the way that Billy the Kid looked, but not um not exactly. Like the the nose is a little bit pointier and the jawline is more defined. But I was getting a reference to him, so I had to look up Billy the Kid to see if that was kind of what I was seeing. A little handsomer, more handsomer than Billy the Kid, but for some reason that's a reference. Okay. Like in the way that he looks. Because I was like, well, who does he look like? Like I was trying to figure it out. And that's the reference I was given. Um, like this kind of looks a little more like him. Of course not cowboy. You have to take the cowboy out. But the way his face is shaped and his nose and nose is a little bit pointier. But the okay. way his face is shaped, I guess, is the reference. Like, that's the kind of face I was, like, the way it's shaped. Okay. That's what I was trying to get at. And then, but the nose is, like, a little bit thinner, thinner and pointier. Okay. See, I was looking, that's the, that's more of what I'm seeing. There's other pictures of Billy the Kid that don't look like that. So, that must be him when he's older. Anyways, I don't know why, but I guess that's... I'm trying to, like, it de describe the best, like, how he looks. And that's that's who Ted gave me for a reference. Okay. But the way I keep seeing it, I just keep getting, like, this creepy vibe. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, a horror movie. Like, there's someone walking around the streets just killing people. And that's how... That's like the the vibe I get, and then it's like I just keep seeing him walking down the sidewalk the way that the way that he looks. Um, but he has this like era about him that's very like oh, creepy, creepy or weird or yeah, like I don't know if I don't know if like sometimes when people did meet him they would get like a weird creepy vibe because I kind of get that from him, you know. Okay. Um, and he might have been. Like, I feel like he was charming, but at the same time, maybe a little odd. Okay. Ted just said lacked confidence. Okay. So maybe he lacked a little bit of confidence, and that might be another reason. Like, I feel like he's kind of, if they're referencing him to Billy the Kid, like, he could be younger. Because, like, I don't know, Ted looked older, but he was in his 20s. Yeah. He could look a little bit older, but be younger. You know, he might have been like a student that was, you know, I don't know. That's just the way that it comes across. Like, he doesn't feel like he's in his 40s or anything like that. Okay. Like 20, 30-ish. But I still want to stay in the 20s for some reason. Um, and I keep hearing music. It, when I see him leaned up against the wall, I hear like um, piano music inside. The, so he must be like outside of one of those places. Okay. I don't know. It feels like it might have been like in the back of like an alley or something. I don't know. That's really weird. The way that I'm seeing it. <laughs> and I don't know if he's the way when he's leaning up against the wall. Like I don't know if he's having a cigar or not. I keep wanting to connect cigars to him for some reason though. Or cigarettes or whatever they smoked back then. Oh, um, it's weird that you say that because in July of um, this year, July 20th, 2023, um, there's somebody that <clears throat> I don't know if they're like within police work or like a detective or what have you not. She is actually related to um, 
an old detective that had worked the case and they were going off of like um, some of the um, like descriptions that were, you know, caught of him. So what she did was is she went back through um, like medical charts that were still available. Um, they lost a lot of files due to a bombing that had happened and he was a cigar maker. Yeah, that's what you were saying earlier about the cigar person, but I still feel like this guy smoked or something, or he would, because I keep, and that might be only like, because I feel like at there's times where he would blend in and go to like these speakeasies or something and, and mm -hmm. or whatever they're called and pick out the victims or like hunt is what Ted's saying, like hunt, but you know, he would blend in by smoke me taking a drink. Like he'd be the one sitting at the end of the bar or, um, you know, having to smoke, but I see him outside with his one, you know, one leg up, like leaning against the wall, like smoking. So I don't know if he did all the time or, or maybe when he was just hunting, I don't know, but there's a reference to that. Um, but I feel like also too in like the speakeasy or whatever they were called back then. I don't know. Um, I keep seeing them like also at the end of the bar and the place is kind of filled with smoke. So I think a lot of people smoke there obviously, but <sighs> he was like a watcher is what Ted okay. said. A watcher. Um, and I don't know. I feel like he maybe he was a little like maybe people thought he was a little off, but they wouldn't think he was capable of this. You know what I mean? Okay. But also, I think if they ever would have found his apartment, there's a reference to like uh, drawings everywhere. Um, just evidence every there would have been evidence everywhere, like, um. You know, the anatomy books and stuff. But then also a reference to, like, he showed me... I see, like, a wall of, like, just drawings and stuff. Okay. Sketches of, like, what he had done or, you know... Since you can't take pictures, it's more of, like, his sketches of it. Okay. Makes sense. Um, And I also get the name John. My ears hurting all of a sudden. Um, it's weird. It's like the the vision they show me is like he was here one like he was there one day and then like after all this happened and then it was like he just disappeared. Okay. Like a phantom. That's what Ted relates him to. A phantom. I don't know, you're talking about there was descriptions. What were the descriptions of? Okay, let me check. Because I don't know if I'm seeing him right. Okay, uh, there uh, there was a Joseph who was a cigar salesman. Uh, he gave a, de a description of like fair hair, medium build, uh, shabby. There was one more who had. Oh, no, I keep having dark hair with him. Okay, so um, they had they had different descriptions that said like um, there was a group of people who had saw one of the victims, but they each gave like different descriptions. Um, the second victim, she was st seen standing outside um, around five thirty in the morning with a dark haired man uh, with that stalker hat on a dark overcoat 
Uh, he seemed to be um, like a shat, like a shabby gentleman appearance. I see him. I don't see him as shabby at all. The way I see him is like clean cut and everything. Which kind of doesn't sh- make... I mean, I don't know. Maybe he looked shabby sometimes and sometimes he didn't. Yeah, like shabby Gentile. What does shabby mean? I mean, like, he grew facial hair or something. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is that supposed to mean? Let me see. Not getting much more, anyways. I don't even know how well this was. I feel like not a lot. Yeah, I'm saying like looking old or in bad condition because of wear or lack of care. But then, like the way they're describing it is like, let me see. We use the word. Um, I don't see him like that, but I mean, maybe I'm seeing him like, you know. No, because when I looked it up, uh, how they said it, it said, the way they said it, I've never heard it like pronounced, like shabby, gent- genteel, like like gentleman almost like, you know, it, and it just says like trying to maintain like dignity, like despite being shabbiness, you know? So, like, maybe he had the nice trench coat on, the nice hat, but, like, overall look, maybe, to them. I don't know. I don't see I just, I can't really see him that much because he's got a hat and jacket and he's, like, all covered up. But, so, like, I don't see his hair or nothing. Yeah. I can't tell you if he had shabby hair. It just seems like he had darker hair. That I don't, I don't get fair hair at all with him. No, well, the one lady that um d- that did see the second victim said dark, dark haired man, and he puts off like that. I mean, he lacks confidence, but at the same time, I get like he thinks he's the shit because he hasn't been caught, like that kind of thing, or they'll never catch me, like that kind of. Yeah, vibe. I don't know. Like, I don't think this was really, I mean, it might have mentally, obviously, he had mental issues to do this as a psychopath, but, um, like, I don't feel like he was crying about it, you know? Okay, yep. Like, there wasn't remorse, psychopaths can't feel remorse, so there wasn't any remorse with it, so it wasn't that he wasn't taking care of himself because of that. Um, I don't know, I just don't see him, but I see him how I see him, I don't know. I don't see him shabby, but I don't also, it's like looking through a dirty glass in the dark, so. Okay. I mean, shabby could be like he has, like, facial hair and, you know, his hair is not his, you know, like, maybe he's grown like a five o'clock shadow or something and his hair, like, I don't think he was homeless or anything like that. Like, that doesn't come across that way. Okay. Especially because I see like a room with all the pictures and stuff that he drew. Okay. Not saying that he had money or anything like that, but you know. Okay. I mean, maybe he did like grow facial hair and then, you know, that's when he was looking shabby, but then maybe. Because sometimes people look more rough with facial hair, like, or like a, you know, and they grow a little bit of fuzz. Yeah. And I do and think, I think, like, then weren't they, like, really, like, a lot, like, clean shape? Like, I don't know if, like, beards and mustaches were big. So, if, say, say somebody that's was. That's the only way I can think that someone looks shabby. Like, the way that I, like, someone that wears a hat like that and stuff, like, they're not. Yeah. Like, I don't Maybe know. Just to them, in. they look shabby. Like, that's what I mean. Like, who were they interviewing? Because if it was somebody that was maybe a little more rich, yes. Maybe to them, they looked, you know, but really he wasn't, you know? 
if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mostly see the profile of him, and then whenever I try to see the front, it's like the hat's down and it's dark. And then, I don't know, I got the reference I got the reference to. But there is some pictures of Billy the Kid where he does look more shabby. I guess, if you want to use yeah. that word. You know. Um, just the way that I see him is he's got that long overcoat and a hat. I, I think he might have changed hats or something. Like, I don't know if he wore the same one. Maybe he did, but I don't know. The way I keep seeing him. Okay. Like, I don't see him looking like Sherlock. <laughs> I guess he did look like Sherlock Holmes if he wore that in an overcoat, right? Um, I don't know. I'm not really getting much else. I feel like this was a not great. No, because you, you got stuff even like right off the beginning, like when you said um, about the like the throats and stuff that's true it was so deep it was to the vertebrae um uh three out of the five actually had um abdominal mutilations i'm not going to get into it because it is really um really gruesome um anything with the liver let's see Uh, that the one, the last victim, I mean, like legs and all were, you know, um, that's what I'm saying. There was, that was more of what he was, he was going for her. Even the way, like the face. So how many, it, it was how, beyond recognition. The last victim. Yeah. Um, that's, okay. That's who you really wanted. So how. So I have a question. How many, including the ones they didn't think, they weren't sure if it was connected or not? How many were Okay, there? so there was a series of uh, 11 brutal murders committed in Whitechapel Spit and uh, Spitfield and then um, London from 1881 to 1891. They were able, they weren't able to conclusively link them all to um, him. But what they called them was the, um, oh, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, canonical five. So that means that these five were actually in, included into being linked to Jack the Ripper. So that was Marianne, Annie, Elizabeth, Catherine, and then a Mary Jane. And areas of the first seven Whitechapel, like there were areas like within um, Whitechapel that seven of the murders had occurred. So they couldn't, um, they, they couldn't, uh, let's see. So what was it? Oh, so what? Yeah, because five out of the 11 were work of the Ripper for sure. So there were 11 separate murders from April of 1888 to February of 1891. And they don't so know it if was cold. It was cold on some of that because February, well, I don't know about England or Paris or whatever the heck this is. But like the, there were like progressive facial mutilations, like the way that he had like when, um, went about it. Now you did. Um, There's a lot of anger in it. Yeah. Directed so yes. there were two, there were two cases in Whitechapel that were not included in that five. Um, that was an Emma Elizabeth Smith and a Martha uh, Tabram. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Smith described her attackers as two to three before her death and she died at the hospital. They related it to gangs moving into the East End. Um, Tabram had 39 stab wounds. There was no SA. Um, and it was more like a pen knife and, um, the wound patterns were different. So they ruled that out. And then you had your, your five, 
which was uh, the first one was Mary Ann. She was seen um, before her death by a roommate walking in the direction of Whitechapel Road. Um, that was that was brutal. Um, and that at you 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 asked about that the um, the way the abdomen was. It was a jagged wound, and so you did get you picked up on that. Um, then there was Annie Chapman, who was a week later. She was uh, found near the steps to the doorway of the backyard of, um, in Spitalfield. That was brutal. Oh, oh they're all brutal. It was all mutilation. Yeah, very, very. Um, it like, was almost like devolving, though. Like, is this? Did you speed up the timeline? Like, you said they were found within a week. So that is number two was in a week from um, from Mary Ann. And then uh, there was a witness that she was seen standing outside uh, with the dark haired man with the deer stalker hat and the oversized trench coat. She said he was shabby in appearance. Then there was um, an Elizabeth Stride and a Catherine Eddowes. They were both unalived uh, early hours in the morning, September. Uh, Stride, Stride was found around 1 a.m. in the Dutfields yard. Uh, that was not um, as brutal. So they didn't know if that was related to Ripper or if he got interrupted because then they found the second lady uh, a few hours later, like in the corner, uh, more than uh, likely like somewhere in London. Well, he more than likely did. So th then, um, that one was brutal. That one, um, that is the one um, that, uh, like when the, uh, the police surgeon looked at it, they said it would have taken them like five minutes uh, to complete it. I'm just, I just feel like there's more victims, but I don't know if they're in the same area. Like, I, I don't know. It just seems like there's more, but. And then um, Joseph believed it was Ed Dowes that he had saw with a man that was medium build, shabby appearance. Um, and he was seen near um, a narrow walkway to Mitra Square, which is now named Church Passage. Uh so they were going to ask you about a cross. Hmm? I was going to ask you about a cross, but we already talked about the, the chapel thing. Um, and then her, I guess she was wearing an apron, was found um, near an entrance uh, to a, a tenement, which is like, you know, like apartments, places to rent. Um and there was something like with greedy, uh, graffiti, like found by the apron. It, graffiti was big then, but they didn't know if it was related to um, Jack the Ripper and the apron being found there. So they wanted the graffiti washed right off because it was like an insinuation to like Jewish people. So they didn't want it to, you know, fall back that this. So there weren't hate crimes, basically. And then you had Mary Jane uh, Kelly. She was extensively mutilated and dismembered. She is the one that they found um, the heart missing from the crime scene. She's the only one that had something missing. What was odd with her is um, there were a lot of ashes found in the fireplace as if almost he made a, like a fire to do this by like moonlight like you know like candlelight almost i don't know what their lighting situation was then um but there were several several combustible items in there and it got so hot that the top of the like tea kettle spout had like fallen off and was found in the grate of the fireplace uh let's see each of the five they were it happened at night or close to the weekend uh, it was either the end of the month or like a week or so after, and the mutilations became more severe. 
except for that, except for stride. Uh, they think that he probably was interrupted and on that. Well, for him to go into the apartment, it was different than him attacking on the street. Yeah. So, and then others say like there's six, six murders between, um, Tabram and Kelly. And, you know, it's just like who relates to what, but a pathologist said three, cause the others were like weak, criminally minded. Um, and then others are saying, no, it's definitely these five. We just don't know if it's a total of 11 or not. And then, um, there were later Whitechapel murders. There was like another four, and they were um, debating on whether or not they were related. Uh, with Francis Coles, there there was a, a man arrested. His name was James Thomas. He was a stoker. So they, with the piece being melted from the last crime scene, I guess they might have were relating it. I I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but. Um, James was last seen drinking with Francis and um, he was actually arrested for her murder, but it was discharged in 1891 due to lack of evidence. And they believed he was the ripper. And then there were other alleged victims um, in addition to the Whitechapel murders. And there was like a, a fairy fay lady that, they think the newspapers got mixed up. She never existed. She was actually um, Elizabeth Emma Elizabeth Smith. So that one was never proven. They just think, you know, newspapers got those two cases mixed up. Um, there was an Annie Millwood who um, had survived. That's the one who had later died in North Carolina. They believe she was the Ripper's first victim. Uh, but it's not def like definitively uh, linked to him. Uh, then there was an Ada Wilson. She was a, a young dressmaker. That was before the five. There was an Annie Farmer. She had a superficial like uh, cut throat. So they think that it was self-inflicted that maybe, you know, she she had done it to herself so it, like these are cases that are like uh, are they are they not and then there was um what happened after this they started getting finding headless torsos they called it the whitehall mystery um or the uh thames um, thames t-h-a-m-e-s mystery um and it was coined that because of the discovery of the headless torsos uh of women in uh 1888 so they didn't know whether the torso it was the if it was a separate killing the torso killer versus jack the ripper or if this was jack the ripper's work down the line well the way that it's coming across is how many victims would it be if we put those two together A lot of EVPs coming in over there. Oh, and Whitechapel is close to the London docks. So I remember you getting a bridge before. Yeah. Um, okay. So if we did the five, so it'd be five. And then, or do you mean the ones that were um, like that the was. first victim of rippers that survived and then later That's died? The five and the torsos ones. Okay, so the torsos. Because I feel like there's more victims that they didn't. Let me see, because I screenshot that. Yeah. And with and the there one. There was also a Carrie Brown. They named her, uh, nicknamed her uh, Shakespeare. Be and uh, she was kind of found in like similar but not as mutilated so they didn't know if she was related or not but let's see the torsos um was there no like um forced entry with the 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 last one the one with the heart going almost like she let him in or let's see
Uh, I was pretty tired. I don't even know how much. I don't feel like I got very much on this. It doesn't say um, whether she let him. She let him in or not, but she was found lying on the bed in a single room. So she didn't have a roommate or anything like that. So let's see with the torsos. Jack the River. Uh, saying four but it says only one of the four victims was ever identified so it would be four and then your actual five that would be nine but then you have that one lady who survived that they think um, was his first victim. So that would be your 10 then. Because mm -hmm. you, you got 10. Yeah. That, yeah. Would, that would be your 10 victims. Hmm. I'd be curious because they made me feel like there was more than just those five. So... And like I said, they don't know if those ones in Whitechapel are related, those seven murders. No. It's just weird because they gave me 10 and then they gave me 14, but I wanted to relate them to the victim, so I don't know. Well, the 10 would make sense yeah. if... <clears throat> the lady who survived and later died years later from, I guess, natural causes, that would be the 10 with the torsos. Yeah. That'd be 11. Well, I don't think I'm getting any more. I don't even know how helpful that was or how good it was. I just know that I got drained real quick. But I was every... already tired. They looked at, um, like, so, so many butchers, surgeons. They definitely thought that they had surgical knowledge or anatomy knowledge. Yeah, he definitely studied it. So he you, either want to be doctor or something. I don't know. And if you, I mean, anybody could look it up and, and read you know, I don't want to go into because it, it was brutal. If you go in and you look up these victims, I mean, you will see that it had it been somebody with some type of anatomy knowledge. Yeah. Like they knew what they were. They knew what they were doing. And it progressively. Yeah, there's a lot of anger and stuff with this. Like I said, that it's it's almost like it's overkill because it relates to how I think he was made to feel or something. Okay. Like that. I don't know. And like he like he just got more precise with his incisions and you know it could have been practice too. Yeah. But the, the I find it interesting that that other that the the one was worse than anybody else, you know, and the other ones, and he took the heart because that, you know, the heart yeah. equals love, and it just makes me feel like that was more of where he was headed was that person, and maybe he had to build up the confidence to get to that, but they were yeah. like surrogates, like, that's how it comes across. Yeah, that, uh, that one was, that one was disturbing. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. So that, that one, person. that one feels more personal then, and maybe she did know him because it came across. It comes across as like they need to look in, or they needed to look into men that were like around her for some reason. Yeah, the the last one and the second one, um, Annie Chapman. I would almost would would love to see if they were like resembled one another. They yeah. were both. 
it, it was just it and was i brutal. think the one that that you said got interrupted i think it did because i kept seeing someone running away but the, the interesting about his like his shoes i can hear them so i don't know I don't know. To me, he's dressed kind of professional. I was trying to see what Stedman was. That that sounds familiar to me. Unless it's the last name, but I don't know. I was I got Lisa too when one time when you were talking, I wrote it down, but I didn't say it because. But I don't know how that fits either because we didn't have a victim in there called that. Well, as soon as I put in um. Steadman, it says uh, an American orthopedic surgeon comes up. Huh. But he's, I mean. I'm not saying it's that person. I'm no, just... no, no. I'm saying like he's like still, a, you know what I mean? Yeah. But maybe they're relating it to that. There's also a British rock band, Steadman surname. A sports car. There's a Stedman House, Draper Stedman House, Tep Stedman House. I don't know. It gives you like a list of like, last name or something. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I don't know how great this was. Like I said, I freaking I don't know. Tired today, and it was like right when I started, I got tired. So. I got tired from getting ready. <laughs> it was worth it, though. I don't know. I don't think it was that great, but hopefully... It's the best day of the year. Oh, Lizzie's a Halloween lover. She I love it. Halloween. I love Halloween. Yeah. Then St. Patrick's Day. It's like my... Oh, I gotta get my thing before we... Oh yeah, get that. Get your get your surprise. Okay, that I wait, I'm gonna everybody. I'm gonna pause the camera. So wait, hold on. Okay. She'll be right back. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't know that it was that great, but it's like a really really old case. The energy's not huge around it. Um, you know, so it was just something I wanted to try and see how it how it went. Because, I don't know. But poor Lizzie, it's like, she's not getting any sleep. It's 4 o'clock. But she has a surprise for you because it's funny. And she didn't want to do it earlier because it would have messed up her makeup. Oh, I could pause it. Paused it. Wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's, what... <laughs> That's what Lizzie was for Halloween, and her kid was Beetlejuice, and the <laughs> dad was the other one of those. <laughs> Good thing you didn't wear that during the reading. <laughs> oh my god, we would have never made it through. Here's my ghostess with the handbook for the recently deceased. Oh. That's so funny. Could you see us trying to do a case with this on all night? <laughs> I know we almost switched the case up because I was like, I don't know. I didn't realize it was that old. I don't know how how I could do on it. So <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, thanks guys for your likes, subscribes, and shares. We appreciate you. I hope that you enjoyed it and happy <laughs> we'll Halloween see. everybody we'll see you next time <laughs>